Hey everyone, today I want to show you extremely valuable where, where I help somebody who's been coming to build hours for a while now, pretty much since the start, and uh, has kept showing up, and now uh, a new friend, uh, Jason. Um, and he was struggling with something that I've struggled with a lot, which is integrations, make, and papi, and uh, how does troubleshooting, how do we effectively troubleshoot? following is a uh, breakdown of every single step you have to do to find out why is my tool not working and you can literally follow step by step the next time and if you want to know the most updated times for joining us at the community build hours uh, you can check out our school community below I, I'm still having a little bit of trouble. I, I, I just, for whatever reason, I just cannot make uh, the memory aspects. I can't do. I, I, okay. I, every time I, I try to do it, it's, there are uh, issues. So cool. one of my thoughts when I, when I put, sure, sure. Um, Okay, that's something that we're trying to solve and we're kind of taking our sweet time on uh, the design of it and stuff. Um, right. But when it comes to like the actual actions, we know what it is. So so let's see where you're at and we'll so, go from there. Uh, hold on. This is a different... Uh, I Let me get to the right scenario here. Uh, it's a different mountain. A different mountain. Uh, this is the one here. And mm -hmm. I go into Vapi. Uh, cool. So when I go in here, um, the issue that I run into is I went in and I took out the phone number, and uh -huh. when I and and this webhook should be the same, uh, BPV, um. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, let me just verify that. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe that's one problem. Maybe uh, that's the problem. Yeah. Maybe that's a problem. Um, that could be well, a problem. Well, let's start with fixing that. All right, let's start with fixing that because... Oh, um, uh, dude, half of the times it's just walking somebody through what you're trying to do and it's like, oh, duh, of course. Right, right. Because it because um, it otherwise it would say like um uh waiting for assistant. Yeah, okay. yeah, exactly. Um, let's go to profile. All right, so uh profile here and and uh oh, wait, wait, do you no, have something to below that okay. There we go. Uh let's go to settings. Uh, settings, yeah. And then uh cool. we could go to here and yeah, that's the same. Okay. Um, yeah. Do you have um some sort of password in there or no, no? I don't. That's the default look. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's... That should be empty. That should be empty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Cool. Awesome. awesome. All right. And then, uh... So um now we go with um trying to call it and see yeah. where you get back. So let's let's give that thing. You could go to the make scenario while you call it, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, should I hit run once? Uh, yes. In fact, uh, wait for new data. Uh, and uh, let me just get that phone number. Get a system. Yeah. Okay, cool. ID yeah, no the... worries. So when this happens, remember, errors is progress. So when right. this happens, uh, you didn't get any errors in your make scenario, which is give us some hints uh, as to where uh, where not to look, right? Okay. But what we're getting in that webhook is something we're actually interested in. So let's click on that one. Okay, the bubble or the webhook itself? Yeah, the, 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 the little bubble with the number okay. one. We'll go to value to look at the output. Um, well, it's, it's an inbound phone call. It's ringing. It's giving you an assistant, uh, assistant ID is null, squad ID is null. You are returning which assistant to uh, um, it should answer with. Right. In that case, 
let's go to the right and look at your webhook response. Uh, so click on here. That would be the far right webhook. Oh, the far right. Web. Oh, oh, I don't think I have a webhook response. Uh, yeah, I think you do. Oh, I, I do. But it might okay. not be configured. Yes. So let's look at. Um, so just as a, as a note, it'll say 200 if it didn't fail. Not necessarily did it do anything useful, but the scenario didn't fail, right? So it returns okay. to the assistant will say, uh, it'll return to the assistant that was successful, whatever you tried to do. Okay. But let's look at the big bubble. Let's look at the big webhook bubble and see how it's configured. Um, you are returning an assistant. So that should be fine. What we're gonna do is look at this output first. Okay. That final output before you share. Um, and you're using variables here, right? Yes. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, let's look at this one. I think okay. I Okay. So let's see. Um, yep, you have the whole prompt. Let's keep scrolling down. And uh, that's where, yep, that's where it ends. Provider, that should all be good. Uh, you have a file. Um, uh -huh. You're calling, yep, yep, yep. Um, if, um, okay, so the best way to do this, we're just checking that, you know, JSON right. is fine. Um, which it does. So let's go. Mm, what we're going to do is turn scheduling on. Okay. Because you're going to actually receive two messages. Uh, delete all data. All right. Uh, you're going to, you're going to receive two messages when, when um, your agent gets called, you receive okay. the, 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 this one that we're looking at right now. And okay. then if you just make sure you save, um, oh. and you go back, um, uh, there was one success. You should be receiving two, two messages you're receiving. Okay. And the, and when you hear the, the message from that voicemail, uh, it'll say, couldn't fetish assistant artif an artifact was sent to your server with more information on the server. So please call the number again, and you should be receiving two messages. Okay. Couldn't get a assistant. Either set the assistant ID on the phone. There you go. Or to so, debug assistant request. Right. Check I can hang up. Artifacts that were just sent to your server. Right. To debug your assistant, check the artifacts that were sent to your server. And that second one is okay. the one we're interested in. Okay. So we're going to do the same process. We're going to see what um, Bapi sent. Uh, we're going to click on that one. Um, it's going to take you to the history. We're going to go in here and look at that little bubble uh wait, wait you said you might need to you might yeah you might need to zoom in okay hold on because we're looking at the at the number one yeah there you go okay perfect by the way this is helpful for everyone Anastasia, alex you you will probably be go through this too um i went through this in countless videos uh, okay. Couldn't get assistant. Great. Um, and this is where we have to be very meticulous with how we read this. Let's go up. Okay. Um, we have assistant request returned invalid assistant. Okay. Uh, um, this is the message. Couldn't get assistant. Um, assistant request error. Couldn't get tool. Tool ID does not exist. And now we have our error. We know exactly where to look. It took us five minutes just to find out, oh, this is where we have to look. So and then that this is, is uh -huh. telling me that it's an error in VAPI, right? It, it is, yes. Okay. Yes. So let's go find out about what this tool is. Okay. Maybe it's in your other organization and not in this one. We'll just go okay. to tools. All right. Um, and this is and, the right one, right? Yeah, okay. Um, okay, this is the right one, and we're gonna because 
they're not they don't do it by name they do it by id let's go up and let's check on these ids um how you're going to do that is you're going to go back to the make and we're going to try to remember the first three, four characters from that ID that it was giving so you. I, okay. Just to find out where the error is before we fix it. Um, it's asking you tool ID D60. So let's go to Vapi and try to find that tool. D60. Uh, oops. And you can just go tool by tool until we find it. And this is what we're looking at. Six. V60. Next right. one. D60. D60. Um, oh, well. Okay. So oh. what might have happened is, number one, you created a tool, then deleted it, and, and didn't you know, disassociate it from the assistant. The okay. other one is maybe you use the API to copy the assistants to this organization. Do you think that's possible? Uh, it's possible. Um, um, how familiar are you with copying assistance with the API? Um, if it's if it's like going to here and hitting copy, I've done that before. Okay, cool. Well, this this what I'm talking about would be different. So then that is not the issue. Let's go okay. to functions and find what uh, tool ID it's talking about. All right. So okay, you have six tools here. That's yes. And we're looking we'll figure for out what to we're, we'll, we'll figure out where to simplify uh, some other time. Um, okay. So none of these uh, tools have the D6. No, that's a problem. So is it possible that you're retrieving an assistant from make, from the make scenario that is um, different than this one? Could you scroll up for a second? Yeah. Should I get out of this window or? Um, okay, so actually it should be here. It's asking for, you know, we have one, two, three tools, but you had six in yours. So we might not yeah, be talking yeah. about the same assistant at all. Um, sorry, one, two, three, yeah. Um, two or three, pet services AI assistant V13.8. Right. That's the, uh, so that's the, um, uh, if I go into assistant model, that should be the version of the. So this of, is a different assistant that you're using. Actually. That's a different assistant. That's. Yeah. Different. Cool. Okay. So I've been there before. Let's go up. Okay. All right. So go. Uh, just scroll up and we're going to copy the ID of the right assistant. Okay. Um, yep. Awesome. Awesome. And let's go back to make and make sure we're pointing to the right one. You're going to go to the diagram first. Okay. Cool. And then when you're getting the, uh, assistant, uh, where let's find out where you're assigning the assistant ID to the variable. I think it's here. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Let's, let's fix that one. All right. That. I'm pretty sure that's the same. Hold that's on, wait, the same. Did okay. I, what, did I do? what did I need? Maybe not. Okay. Lovely. Okay. So yeah. let's save. And then call again. And then call it again. You might need to change change the API key and uh, uh, as well. Yes. You it's might need to change the, the API key because at this point, I think you're talking about a different organization. Okay. All um, right. So that's my API key. Oops. Uh, so let's go to here and then go to uh, here and yep. settings, right? API well, key. API key. Yep. Uh, and you're just going to copy it. And yeah, you got it. Oops. Nope. Oops. Uh, Lovely. Uh, let's save. save it. Try one more time, and uh, maybe there's something else to change. But this should be this should be good. Hello, and thank you for calling to us. Hey, there you go. Huh? Wow, good that's, job, man. That's amazing. 
That's amazing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sometimes it just checks. It, it takes like explaining it to somebody. My kind of self trick is um, recording myself and explaining it to myself. Right. Uh, as if I was recording a video for others, as if I was, I was right. explaining it to others. And it's like, okay, you know, step by step, this is how this gets done. And then I find where the fallacy or error is. Hope that helps you the next time you're having trouble integrating Megan Vapi. Um, there were a lot of things that we did there, but keep in mind that the information of what's going on is out there. You just have to look in the right places. Uh, read the error messages, read what's being sent to your webhook, and you'll be all right. Little by little, um, you'll become more and more fluid troubleshooting. And uh, yeah, remember that errors is progress. So we'll see you next time.